What's up? Welcome. Today's question of the day is, what is one metalcore trend that should die and never come back? Best comment gets pinned. Well, 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 would you look at that? Late night HXC is back in full swing. This is episode three. Uh, that has never happened, but it's happening now. Now, if you remember a couple of months ago, we started this series. Uh, we had two episodes and it just never really went anywhere because I, I missed episode three and then it just, I kind of forgot about it. I'm sorry. But in hopes to bring some variety to the channel, I decided to bring it back. Those of you who don't know, this is, a, this is a place where we talk about news, new releases, new tours, new music that you should add to your playlist. This is Late Night HXC. Grab your tea, grab your snack, sit back. Let's do it. Blink-182 has announced a new album called One More Time. Oh my god, what a news. This is of course following the four singles they've already dropped. Uh, with this cover art, I mean... <laughs> I, I, I guess they can do whatever they want with the legend status, but kind of funny, kind of funny actually. I'll allow it. It's funny. <laughs> Betraying the Martyrs have officially announced their breakup after 13 years of, of music. The band has decided to go out with a bang though, dropping a whole two unreleased tracks in the EP called Godspeed with a seven minute video. If you haven't checked that out yet, uh, check it out. I'll leave the link in the description to that. Uh, I'm also yet to check it out, but I will be soon, so stay tuned. Now, obviously it's it's never fun to see bands go out. It's never fun to, to read news about new bands breaking up, you know, every week or every month or so. But if I have to, I'd rather read it as a, as a celebration of music, as a, as a big grandiose end to a chapter than something uh, that wasn't expected or planned. Um, like if you agree. Aviana dropped a new track and it's quite different and experimental. Just kidding. It's 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 not Aviana. It's it's Spotify fucking up. That's per usual. Sentinels have announced the departure of their vocalist Josh. They mentioned the reason was due to his unfortunate ongoing issues with the voice. They later announced a new vocalist to be joining the band Kenny Straw. And it's good timing because the band is dropping a new single this week, uh, which I want to check out because uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I, I never gave these guys a chance, a proper chance. So uh, this might be my, my chance to do it. So, and you too, check out Sentinels. In another bitter news, another breakup, this time Monasteries, a UK deathcore act has called it quits um, after 10 years of music. In their Instagram, they said it was a group decision. Uh, they're currently doing a big sale on all their remaining merch. So if you want to pick that up and support the boys, I'll also leave the link in description to that. But yeah, another another breakup news, unfortunately. Monasteries was a sick band. I remember listening to a couple of tracks and streams. Um, so go support the boys if you want, if you can. Uh, it's it's never fun to read news like this, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm happy that uh, it seems like there was no bad blood, so that's good at least. A quick reminder that a Discord of mine that is also now public is hosting a song competition. All you have to do is join, check out the rules, check out the submission stuff. Uh, if you want, pair up with someone or bring someone with you and drop us a track, submit a track for this contest. And later this year, we'll have a little ceremony with jury deciding which track wins and gets $100. If you wanna check out more information, of course, join the Discord and read up the rules, but yeah, this is a little shameless plug for me. <laughs> Thy art and CJ situation. Okay, well, I missed this, kind of, um, because I didn't really do late night HXC, but I've been closely following this story. And of course it's, it's not a fun story per se, but it's a story I believe with a very, uh, thought provoking, uh, conclusion. So as you, as you may remember, CJ has said some uh, pretty transphobic shit over on his social media, after which he took a break, kind of deleted everything all in the buildup of the new album by the artist murder godlike, which was supposed to drop. Now, obviously this is not good. I mean, I think if you've been watching my channel, especially if you've been a part of my community, you would know that I don't stand with none of that bigotry bullshit. So, you know, if you, if you hate, fuck you. But the fun part was when the band straight up announced on the release date of this album that CJ is no more in the band. 
and in fact the album that dropped on Spotify featured a different vocalist. It's kind of crazy. It's a crazy turn of events. It's something that you know, no matter no matter what you think about it, is is like a wild situation to 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 read about, to to think about. He must have just had a guy secretly re-record every single vocal line. It's pretty crazy. And yeah, uh, that kind of split the internet into into two different camps of what people think. Uh, w whether this was a good thing or a bad thing. Now this show is never going to be unbiased, so I'll, I'll insert my uh, 25 cents in here. Bands break up all the time. Bands break up for a lot of reasons, and obviously it's it's 100% up to them what happens. If someone acts up, of some someone being a nuisance, or someone you know being extremely um, destructive to the band, like what the artist said about CJ uh, in their announcement. I think it's it's totally cool for them to to remove that member, even though CJ was like the central thing of the whole Thy Art is Murder thing. So seeing all these hate mobs against the band, especially Ronnie Ronald McDonald over on Twitter weaponizing his fans to boycott Thy Art is Murder, it's kind of funny to me. It's kind of funny because something tells me the kind of people that call to boycott Thy Art is Murder are also the first ones to scream all over the internet that boycotts don't work. Stop boycotting. Uh, blah blah blah. But regardless of that. My bottom line to all of this is a band had an issue with the vocalist seemingly unanimously every single member except for CJ himself and they decided to remove him and guess what CJ is not the whole band CJ is only one-fifth of the band so there you go that's happened and uh, I don't support what CJ has said I don't support how he reacted to the situation he doubled down in fact on it so yeah fuck him whatever what's up it's uh, it's me editing to play a bit of a devil's advocate here, I would also like to mention that they art themselves could have handled this a little bit better. Uh, for example, just having a conversation with CJ first about removing him, because it seems like what he said, he found out about him being removed and the whole album being re-recorded on the day of the release, which is kind of fucked up, but still, uh, I support the decision. Yep. Landmarks have announced a new banger of a tour in Europe and UK over in 2024 with the Devil Wears Prada and Like Moss of Flames on support. How crazy is that? So if you're anywhere near these dates, uh, consider coming because, I mean, I would, but I don't live in Europe and this is a goddamn ripper. Straight after, Beartooth has announced uh, another tour in Europe and UK in 2024 with special guests yet to be announced. So if you're a diehard Beartooth fan, I would look out for this one. Finally, yet another sick European tour in 2024. Holding Absence is bringing Thornhill, Dark Divine, and my boys Floya. I'm so happy for Floya uh, to Europe in 2024. So, yeah, don't miss this one either. It's a crazy lineup. Crazy good. All of my NA viewers, um, no new big tour announcements yet, but uh, I'll keep you updated in the next episode. Time for weekly releases. We're gonna start off with singles. You can see all of them right here on the side. I'll point out that Viltjarta has dropped a new track. I'm yet to listen to it, but I'm very excited about it. Normandy, of course, with a new track building up to their new album release. But this one features Daniel Winterbates from motherfucking Barry Tomorrow. That's kind of crazy. I would listen to that. And of course, in process with a new track follow up to that crazy song called Thrash that we checked out on the channel a couple of uh, days ago, uh, which had a pretty crazy breakdown. Not gonna lie. Going over to EPs, you can see uh, not a lot, not a lot this week for EPs, but of course, like I mentioned, Godspeed by Betraying the Martyrs, the last kind of farewell EP by this band. Check it out, out of respect to them. Um, I'll check it out too. And of course, the albums this week. These are the albums, uh, of course. I mean, I'm gonna point out of Mice and Men. As a, as a fellow of Mice and Men a fanboy right here, I'm excited to listen to Tether. I probably have listened already when this video is live. So check out the Patreon if you want to see the full thing. But yeah, My Sin Man Tether is definitely my most anticipated album of this week. But of course, Carnifex, the legends themselves with the new album Necromantium. Check that out as well, as well as all of these beautiful albums. We're going to end today with the playlist grab of the week. And I urge you to check out my boys from Low Heaven, specifically their new track called Ant Legion. We checked this out on stream last week. And I was simply blown away by how this song painted a picture in my head as I was listening to it. It's truly an interesting track, it's a bit slower, it's not really the typical stuff we listen to around here, but hey, check it out. These are fellow Toronto boys, uh, they're pretty sick, they have a good sound. Uh, this is like their fifth or sixth song ever, so 
support them. Support smaller bands. Well, well, ladies and gents and everyone else, we're going to end it here because uh, I, I typically would have a comment of the week here, but since there there's there was no late night HXC for a long time, I don't have any comments. So make sure you drop a silly, weird, goofy uh, comment this week so I can feature it in the next one. So yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Tell me how I can improve upon this format. If you have any ideas of what I can include in here, Obviously, we're not going to have interviews for every single week. I would simply die of anxiety. But we will have some more interviews in the future, 100%. This is just kind of the comeback episode. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. Uh, I love you all. Um, please leave a like, leave a comment. I really would appreciate that. Of course, subscribe as well if you want to see more of these every week. Uh, that's kind of just seeing your activity is the biggest inspiration for me to do content. So I would greatly appreciate that that's all for me though thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you you're looking good today make sure you drink some water it's good it's good for you all right i'll see you in the next one bye subscribe to bogdan hxc